when you are outside here wachana na feeling zako na sijuma nini zako uko kwa airport ukiwa huku use of bongo wacha kutumia wacha kazi ya roho ni kupump damu wachana story za love coach patrick who happens to be the richest tiktoker by the way I can tell you guys this is the most richest tiktoker you know you want to inspire someone mwenye kwa somewhere mwenye na and i believe in his dreams to come true and coach patrick bye Ladies in Gulf, please, can you please tell me? Shida enu kwa nini? Because I am not uh, si generalized about uh, like all the ladies, but some few ladies. Shida enu kwa nini? We have been singing this song now and then, everywhere. Kuwa. See, when you, when you are outside here, wachana na feeling zako na sijuma nini zako uko kwa airport. Ukiwa huku Use of bongo wacha kutumia wacha kazi ya roho ni kupump damu wachana story za love ukiwa huku tumia akili tumia akili even though even though i might understand this next lady the one we are uh, almost watching her that she za kwa labda ni mtoto alimpush akafika to that extent of trust mwanaume mpaka kuanza kumtumia pesa kwa sababu anasema alikuwa ameoana huyu alikuwa bwana yake ni venye mwanaume ndio alimlet down but the thing is anauliza shida wanaume wa Kenya uko nini shida wanaume wa Kenya wana shida shida ni wanawake wa Gulf mnakuanga na nini hey, imagine mtu utoke nyumbani ukuje huku hivi unasema unatafutia mtoto wako ama watoto wako alafu kuna tokea mtu hata sisi ni mtu atatokea but ni mtu mwenye unajua labda kama mimi hivyo nimekuja huko nimefanya kazi contract yote sijaweka hata shilingi na imagine wewe mwanaume amenioa alikuwa anajua mimi niko na mtoi alafu inafika time nimempea tu pesa yote ya contract amejenga hiyo nyumba imebaki tu ni floor na palaista kama na stima hivyo hiyo nyumba hiyo imeisha na mimi nitoke huko niende nyumbani at least niende nikumziki. Eti ananiambia ananiambia eti nichukue mto hii ni mrudisha nyumbani juu yeye aweze kulea huyo mto hii juu si wake. Ebu imaji vinyo sisi huku tunapata shida tunafanya kazi tunachoka. Tunafanya kazi tunachoka. Hata chakula nyepo imagine mimi nimemaliza kazi toka kitambo na hata sija kula. Niko tu hivyo. Imebidi niambie madam hiyo story. Imebidi niambie madam hiyo story. Madam ameniambia weka tuongeze contract tena. Umalize kile kitu chenye unataka kufanya ufanye. Nimekaa nimeongeza tena contract nimefanya kazi hiyo miaka miwili tena sasa yetu naelekea na nusu nimekaa huko for four years nikifanya kazi lakini nini shida yenu nyinyi wanaume mko Kenya mnafikiria huko sisi tuna yani hiyo pesa tunafanya kuyokuta barabarani eh ebu manji demo amekuja amefanya kazi huko for three years alafu pesa mbona kia amekula yote Kitu yenye hata inaboesha kabisa hata watu wake maskini hawaendi shule imagine <laughs> so sad maskini tena mwenye mabakisha tu miaka mizi mwili aende nyumbani alafu anatu hata watu wake hawaendi shule hakuna kitu yenye mefanyika huko nyumbani <laughs> at least mimi madam wangu amenambia tu nikae ndio kazi tena contract niendelee na kazi na nashukuru Mungu sahi hiyo contract yenye mimi niliongeza at least nilipata plot na sahi nataka kuje mwangalieni vile hao wanaokuwa Kenya wanafanya madamu wako huku haki kwani 
kama mtu haumpendi sunatana na yeye tu kuliko mfanye vitu kwa zote hizo the lady is just saying that watoto wake waende shule mtoto wake aende shule then projects zake imesimama but still you are sending money like i told you ladies tunaimbanga hapa online every now you go to my videos utapata you have told you ukiwa huko tumia akili wacha wacha na maneno ya love love it, imepeleka watu chini wa love ime, imeweka watu an, six feet under na depression na stress ukiwa huko tumia akili si my dear ukitaka ku uwe safe na anything yako project yako yote yenye unafanya ukienda home my dear fanya hivi go home buy a land hakikisha 100% iko ndani yako Anza kama mjengo kako hapo kidogo hata kama katakwama utaendelesha ukiwako nje but at least the land is under your name. So before we continue guys keep subscribing to my YouTube channel. Most of you are watching but you don't subscribe. Keep keep, keep subscribing. Thank you so much for the my, my current subscribers. Na washukuru sana na wapenda sana. Thank you so much for your support. You are the ones who are really making me really push to make this contents. So before we continue Let's watch this lady then we continue. All right. Aha, venye mmesikia. This lady analia kuwa morio wake. Alikuwa anamtumia pesa, they were building a house, then unfortunately nyumba iko karibu kuisha, imebaki tu floor, morio wake achamwambia, "Ah uh ah, -uh, it's been four years wewe chukua mtoto wako, peleka kwenu, mimi sina sina kazi na wewe tena." Wewe kama mtambao umekuwa huko nje girl no my experiences of it where do you start from that's why i'm advising you number one, never make a mistake of kujenga nyumba mbao hiyo landa hiyo kwa title deed yako no matter the case hata kurushe nyumba title deed ni yako utamwambia fanya hivi morio bomoa hii nyumba yako ambayo unasema ni pesa yako yet aujui hata hii pesa itoka api bomoa niachie land yangu kwa sababu land is under your name don't ever ever make a mistake of kutengeneza land then next of king unaweka Someone when you have you here, you trust, you don't know, you know, most of the things are supposed to show now also here in Gulf, like someone falling in love with a stranger, total stranger, whom to have to meet in your home, you just met this someone here in Gulf, then all of a sudden online love, you misha kwa malava, mara misha kutana, mara misha anza, tituna save pesa pamoja, tunaenda home kujenga pamoja, then munaenda ka vacation ka one month home, Muna decide muna combine pesa, muna nunua land, ana kukonfuse, ana ku... Really, really, most of women wana kuanga so stupid, paka mtu anza kukonvince, paka uandike jina yake kama the first owner, wewe second owner. You don't know what you're putting yourself into. Muna rudi huku, muna kaka, love ndio hiyo imekua, imekua tamuchungu, mume divorce, then nani anabake na ile land, uyu mori yambo ulikome, ameandika jina yake as first owner. We were in second owner kama in case akufe. So, most of the time ukiwa huku tumia kile. I've seen another case where Dema mekuja huku, hamepata na kamorio. Oh, my love ya mwaka moja hivi, wamechukua loan, hati tunajenga nyumbani, wameanza kujenga home. Morio ya mekuja, morio ya memutoka, hamebake na loan. Project imesimama, kazi ambu nafanya pia yezi lipayo loan. We wende uko stranded hapo. So instead of saidi ya wazazi wako, instead of uendeleche projects zako, uendeleche kimaisha, unalipa loan for the next three years, four years. Kama vitu zako zote ziko stagnant. So most of the time, whenever you are doing these things, I've been telling you now and then, first of all, see, consult with someone mwenye already ya misha kuwa kwa hii situation. Kuja online hapa, most of the time I tell you, sikize ni hii data enu na hii wifi, isiku otia kustoku ma ex wenu, na kuangalia watu wakitingisha behind kwa TikTok. You know? Sometimes learn things, Google angalia how to own a land, how to know the land is legit, how to invest while working outside the country. These are the kind of videos you have been making and posting for you ladies, apart from these others, but my channel mostly is about investment, savings, na hizi vitu zengine zengine, but hizi zengine za Saudi manini pia, comes along kwa sabu, these are the things happening in ground, so we have to address them. But, before you embark on that journey of trusting someone with your money, even your parents, never trust, even nata kona mtrust haje, na 100%, mpatia 99, hiyo 1 percentage of benefits of doubt, 1 percent, mpatia 99, you yourself don't trust yourself with money even, as well. Tafuta investment, really squeeze there are a lot of investment, you know, projects and things. Even though, 
lazima uresearch ujue what are you what are your passion into unataka kufanya nini na nini na nini ma online trading ma forex bureau ma yani kuna a lot of stuff zenye mtu anaweza fanya it's not necessarily right ikuwe tu lazima tu tume home pesa home pesa kwa mtu ambaye akujui then wewe ndio unabaki una always in shit wakati mtu ameshakula pesa yako wewe ndio umebaki always in shit kwa you have to pay the loan wewe ndio unaanza kulia hapa online wanaume 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 sisi kila siku hapa tuna wanani tuna advice hapa wanaume wanaume wazuri waliisha waliisha kitambo sana that one i can tell you for sure nowadays wanaume wamebaki siezi samati mimi ni mzuri that much but wengi wao ni my blood fucking ni watu wanatakuweko kama ben 10 wote kuchoka that's why wanaendea wanawake wazee same to ladies when you are back squeeze wengi wao ni wale wazembe pia they want quick money you don't know how sweet is your money you want quick money mtu mzee na kuchukua na kupeleka huko kwao na kupatia ukimwi life yako imesha hivi hajasaidia hata maparents zako hajasaidia hata mtoto wako mmoja kwa sababu most of these things most of these people doing this kind of things ni watu wako na watoto already mtu wako na mtoto watoto wawili watatu so you ulikuwa disappointed in one with one person so umesema ah Kenyan men are, are, are dogs wacha niende white person una think huko place unaenda ni kuzuri unaruka mawe makojo na kanyaga mavi ask us i know a few ladies when you are outside the countries waliana na wazungu more than 10 years ago you tried asking them what have, have they done back at home for their parents hakuna kitu na apart from kukupatia mtu ipo inti hakuna kitu na sasa hizo muachane na yeye urudi mtaani mtu wako webu imagine amesema place ya mtu rapi anaambia mtu nikatie ya kumi mtoto point kwa sababu of course utamwewa kwa hiyo life style ambayo anaipa huko so itakuwa umemfanya nini unamleta unamshukisha ali ana grow up kwa environment yenye si aqua expect kwa sababu ya desperation una get si hati hati wa afrika wamekuwa wamekuwa nani wamekuwa hati sasa hiyo imeandikwa hati yao lazima grow kwa environment but before we do some things think about your future kids and everything sisi wa Afrika na watoto wetu kisoma place kuna choma mahindi na muturana nini you know it's normal to us but we imagine mtoto point team then na nywele zimefikwa kwa mgongo hasa amecheza cheza huko nje amekarara amekuwa muusi alafu kisha yani some things we do outside here we do it out of uh, out of uh, can, what, how can i put it out of uh, desperation out of bitterness kwa sababu uliachwa na mori yako vibaya break up it wasn't good ex wako alikuacha vibaya so you want to prove a point kwa hata before without you even you make it in life then you end up doing some stupid shit without you thinking kwa first of all most of these ladies wana kwanga kuinja hata waja secure their futures most of these white people na penao tu kupeleka very plain, fancy places it's okay end up but jua venye unachuna mtu unawekelea unajiwekelea peke unajiwekelea kando yako kwa sababu most of these relationship tumeona end up in tears si hata sasa only only wasiana wetu wa girlfriend wa end, up, wa end up in tears hata hizo zao kwa sababu the same way huyu mtu atakuwestia 10 years yako akupatia watoto wawili then akutoke ama kama ni mzae god forbid but akuache without nothing urudi home you'll be a laughing stock same to these ladies who are sending money home to people they don't know to people they don't trust even if you know them you end up pesa yako yote inaenda mtoto asomi like wewe wa, fikirie ni guy ladies and gentlemen hata machali kuna wengi hapa wenye natumia anga tu wanawake tu pesa eh hata saidi familia yake mtu yote akimuitisha anything hapo amemblock but akoradi atumie dem atumie dem taotana aenda kajibambe weekend ndio amuonesha hata nampenda but mama yake akimwambia tu hata hai hiyo hai ataijibu after 3 days no so this kind of stupidity yenye tumekaa kwa clear hata mtu yote akusalimia from home hati ni pesa tu anataka kuitesha. Sasa ingine unaweza pata advice from mtu. Si lazima ati pesa tu. Sasa ingine mtu anataka kujulia hali. You know. So all in all mwenye masikia sikie whatever happened to this lady mimi naweza kuambia lady start using your brain. Wacha kutumia akili kama kofia kufunga jua. Kazi ya roho ni kupitisha damu. Si kupenda. Haya, wewe baki hapo na mapenzi. Unaona venye mapenzi yanapeleka hatu. This mapenzi is wicked. Oh. Until next time continue subscribing our boy coach Patrico. Cheers.